hi everyone okay let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly okay so we have k to the power of 3 plus k to the power of 2 being equal to 2 so in my head i'm thinking is it possible that this plus this will give 2 the answer is yes although we are expected to find the complete solution right but then these two can be one plus one so i'll have k to the power of three plus k to the power of two equals one plus one now the next thing i want to do is to express these two in this form so our k to the power of three plus k to the power of 2 is 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 to the power of 2. Now, we can compare what we have on the on the left and what we have on the right. Mind you, 1 to the power of 3 is not 1 times 3, but 1 times 1 times 1, and that will still give 1. So, let's bring this and this together. k to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3 will be together then plus this is k squared so I'll write k to the power of 2 this becomes minus 1 to the power of 2 that will be together and now there's nothing on the right so I have to include 0 now if I do not include this equal sign it means that I have changed the, um, the equation given to us so I have to include the equality sign and half zero on the right hand side now here we have difference of cube if you have a to the power of three minus b to the power of three what does this mean okay this means that we have a minus b then in the second bracket we have a squared plus a b plus b squared this is what we'll have so i'm going to express this in this form a now is k and b is one so a minus b is k minus one then here a squared is k squared plus a times b that's going to be one times or k times one and it's k then plus um, b squared that will be one squared and it's one then plus go straight to this where we have um this difference of two squares so that will be k minus one into k plus one now we still equate everything to zero we equate everything to zero now k minus one is here and it's over there so we need to factorize k minus one out then here now we're going to have k squared plus k plus one this is what we have there then plus here this is already out so k plus one is what is going to be there as we equate everything to zero now to continue with this k minus one remains a factor then we can open this bracket and add what we have there so if we do that we're going to have k squared because there's no square on this side then k plus k will give us 2k plus 1 plus 1 that will give us 2 right and this is now equal to zero now from here now since we are multiplying this and this together that means that one of them should be equal to zero so we don't know the one that is zero so we are going to say that it's either k minus one equals zero or k squared plus two k plus two equals zero I'm going to leave this out and concentrate on this one first so k now is equal to 0 plus 1 so this means that k is equal to 1 this is one of the solutions 
Now to get the other solutions, I'm going to pick this again. We have k to the power of 2 plus 2k plus 2 equals 0. Remember, quadratic general formula is k equals minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. a is 1, b is 2, c is 2. So let's put them into this formula. So our k will now be, in place of minus b, we have minus 2 plus or minus, and we have b squared, which will be 2 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 2, because a is 1 and c is 2, as we divide by 2 times 1. Now k okay, from here is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 1 times 2 is 8. Then we divide by 2. Now this k will be minus 2, okay, plus or minus square root of minus 4 as we divide by 2. Now k from here is equal to minus 2 plus or minus, we have square root of 4 times square root of negative 1. So that we'll be able to get the square root of 4. Then we divide this by 2. To continue with this, our k will now be, this is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Multiply by square root of negative 1 is i, and we divide this by 2. So that k will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus 2i, then divided by 2. Because 2 times minus i, okay, 2 times i is 2i. Now, this can go there, and the same 2 will go here. So that we will have k to be equal to 2 into minus 2 is minus 1. Then plus or minus 2 into 2i is going to be just i, right? So this is a 2-in-1 solution. Let's bring the three solutions together. Okay, so before this value, we already had that our k is equal to 1. So this could be our k1, right? Then k2 is from here, and that is minus 1 plus i. Okay, now our k3 is also from here, and that will be minus 1 minus i. So these three are the solutions to the given equation. Thank you for watching.